It is going to be a 2v2 variety. Heldy, you there? Yep. I don't know how this 2v2 is going to go. We've modified the rules a little bit, so you do have to get three v kills on the enemy VIP, but there is no sweep rule. Because I think that would make it take like 10 seconds to finish. <laughs> so... Imagine the first thing is we will finish it. Yes, pretty much. So uh, so we'll see what happens here on Labyrinth in this 2v2 version of the VIP Sec Attack matches to finish off the night. Let's get a quick rundown of ships on the red team. The VIP... 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 I'm just going to call it the VIP. Uh, we've got... What? Is this... Are you seeing this? Is it an old flare joker? Oh. Oh, God. On the acid, we've got still a, uh, a carinade up front for this goldfish. With an Artemis and a flamethrower. And what's on the blue team? On the blue team, we have the VIP... Uh, Trip Harmacon, it's a meta medium piloted by Steamy Noodle, which has a flamethrower and a fragon on the side. And for the last ship, it's Big Daddy, which has it's a Joker, piloted by Lurk Awesomely. It's a double gat on the starboard side, with a, a Banshee, Banshee, a Banshee Carnade on the port side, and a Banshee up front. So, all flares. Generally not considered to be the strongest of guns. Uh, good utility. Can set some stuff on fire. Uh, did get the Tripper, Tripper Monikin's uh, balloon down. So, you know. There's a lot of that going on. <laughs> Looks like it's a fair war between the, uh, the Pyrrha and the Joker. Uh, yeah, I mean the, the the big dad in trip now turning on the VP like like they're supposed to. Acids looks like he's gonna try to follow through the. It's actually a pretty nice tar on the trip harmonica in there. The the pyro not very good at changing speeds. Uh, VP, however, about to get destroyed by big daddy here. Trip does manage to get out of the tar, which is uh, teammate Acid is actually sitting there now as well. VP about to get taken down. Way too much Gatling going on there. Way too much armor stripping. Uh, but let's see if Acid is about to return the favor here as they are getting the balloon of the uh, Tripper Monikin down. And they are going to ride them into the ground. And this is actually a uh, okay. Or you can go stand right in front and bounce off the... Oh my... What is going on <laughs> in this game, Healthy? I have no idea. It looked like they was going for ram the miss, then uh, hit the building instead. Hit the build, and then it. But that was the that was the biggest bounce back I've ever seen. I I don't think I've ever seen a ship bounce back that far. Uh, oh, and they still got the triple runnikin down. So at least Acid does manage to complete that. They they don't quite completely fail. Big Daddy will have a good chance of getting this kill unless Acid can get the uh, the carinade going into him. But with that armor down and then bouncing along on the ground, well, actually, both of them are doing so. Big Daddy's balloon is down already, which means Acid probably is going to have the upper hand in this because they will be able to rise up and keep blending down Big Daddy. Now, let's see, which of these ships is able to get back in here faster? Super American just spawned. Vippy is now running on fourth. Big Daddy getting slammed down into the ground even more, but Acid is taking a little bit of damage still. And then they overshoot their target again and are going to run into the world and that might just end there no, I, I I have lost all capacity for <laughs> casting Ellie as there is just mistake after weird play after mistake going on here Big Daddy runs into the middle is getting uh, fired now I thought the acid was dead for sure apparently that's not going to happen <laughs> And see, we see the flares go out in a nice little formation there. Yep, there's a nice little flaming going on. Tripper Monikin finally running in here. They might just get the acid. That's really that's the that's the only 
matchup that really counts matters here. Uh, unless unless the Vippy gets really ram happy, because uh, inside of clouds, uh, flares are not going to hit ships essentially, and the trip harmonicon will take out that uh, that goldfish. Probably turn and take out the Vippy here, unless the Vippy is real careful. I will say the entire uh, night sky is lit up like uh, basically a Christmas decoration with all that green. So much pairs. It was, it was, uh, it was cause so much lag though for the pairs. Yeah, uh, that, that definitely can. Big Daddy takes down Mippy there with a series of rams. Of course, most of that damage is, was done by the Tripper Munnikin. But uh, regardless, they do get the kill by ramming into the side of that ship. And we got a 2 to 1 lead for the blue team. So, uh, so Flare Central not doing best here. We'll have to see if Red Team's able to pull any rabbits out of their hat. I really, honestly, Vippy's just got to get Ram happy. Like, that's, I, I don't, you know, you can still use the flares and still try to do stuff with it, but uh, you're going to have to use your force to try to make something happen in here. And, uh, you know, ramming with the Junker isn't the worst of ideas. Yeah, it could be ramming with a squid. Ramming a squid while using, uh, or... Ramming with a squid into a galleon. That is probably... The, the, like, that's just like... One of these things is not going to do anything. Alright, Acid coming in. Blending down. Big Daddy getting him out of the way. But he is running in here basically solo. With your Parmonican getting those front guns on him. Nice, nice flare. That does send... Uh, actually, I think it only hit Cloud again. Because nothing on the Triple Parmonican gets set on fire. Although they are... Chem sprayed up quite nicely as well, so that's going to do even less now with those flares. The flares, essentially, if you manage to hit something, a component with the flare, it will put on, I think, I want to say 10 stacks? It stacks 10 stacks if it hits. It's, eight, uh, it's some, a, a very large amount of stacks onto the component hits, but if you're flared up, not a whole lot is going to happen. And, or, uh, or sorry, uh, chem sprayed up, not a whole lot is going to happen. But although the VP VP uh, have managed to hit the both flare guns on those balloons. Yep, but it, uh, it, it they are getting put out, so nothing majorly catastrophic will happen. You know, getting those flare guns in stacks onto the balloons is nice, but really you would have to do that a lot closer to the ground and maybe start bumping in there into their balloons, so they start losing those as well. But now. Vippy is going to get chased now. Really, the only chance that they have here is if they were to able to lead these two ships into their team. But instead of that, they're actually just going to bounce into the building and uh, lose all momentum and now bounce into more buildings. And now they're getting blended as a junker, which is just terrible. And Tripper Monikin is probably going to be able to take him down here. Although Big Daddy just lost all. Oh, they laid down Tar. That's actually pretty good. Lay down that tar, knocked out all of Big Daddy's guns, but Tripper Monikin still falling behind. And with that armor down, and here come the mortar shots, and that will finish off the game. As the Tripper Monikin proves that a Gatling Mortar Pyramidian does in fact beat a quintuplet of flares on a Junker. In probably what is one of the silliest games I've seen in uh, recent memory, but uh, you know it was, it was a valiantly fought effort by Red Team. Yeah, that was a weird game. Very much so. That's uh, that's gonna be it's gonna be one that I won't quite forget. <laughs> uh, initially, it was actually all. Uh, I believe it was all uh, harpoons on that ship, or there was a ship with all harpoons. But hopefully we'll get BP to surrender on up. There it goes. So that will, in fact, end the